Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today I want to show you how to create this interesting effect in Adobe Illustrator. But before we do that, uh, take that in mind that this is advanced uh, to, to achieve this level of skills and how to do this problem solving with these kind of effects. It's not easy, it's difficult. It's a lot of work and you know if you don't ha you don't have the skills necessarily to create these fancy stuff then uh, this tutorial is kind of useless but anyways I'm gonna show you so basically it starts from uh, a full uh, fill text you know you can choose a, a script font you can choose a nice fancy font this is uh, I, I made it by myself and the main idea is to remove these thin lines okay so you remove these thin lines and it's gonna be empty so basically it's cut as you can see this part you need to basically cut out every part so you can add the blend and then it's gonna look like this and then you basically put the outline so how do you add the blend you select one of these uh, cut out pieces and we're gonna go somewhere where is the if i gonna find it there you go the scrizzer tool or you press the c and i'm going to cut out this area press delete delete again as you can see this two doesn't touch each other now they are separated i'm gonna do the same thing with this one Got some weird stuff going on already in here. Gonna press the letter C. And let me check what actually happened. There you go. So I'm gonna just delete this one. And this one is good. It has some weird effects going on, but that's not a problem. The main idea is that you can separate it like this. Okay select both go to object blend make and double click here on the blend tool select specified steps increase the number of the lines and it should be something like this i'm gonna go with six you also can do more crazier stuff actually i'm gonna i'm gonna go do it more dense and i'm gonna show you another trick I'm gonna go with eight. Uh, I'm gonna increase. Actually, I'm gonna increase just this stroke thickness. So double click on this line. You double click on this. If I could, but it doesn't. Wait a sec. Okay, now it now it worked. And you can see it's gonna select this one. It it can also distort if you move it. The lines are gonna follow. And what I want to do is make this part thin and make this part also thin and this part to be more thicker. I'm going to go to the stroke. If you don't have the stroke, go to windows and select the stroke. It's right lo located right here. Go to the profile and select one of the profile. I'm going to select this one because this is the effect I'm going to follow. And I'm going to increase the width. As you can see, it's creating a really interesting effect. This is new already. And I'm gonna do the same thing with this. Just click on it, don't double click. Go to the profile, select this one. And as you can see, we got a different effect. It's uh, different than this one. And uh, yeah, actually I might do the whole thing, I don't know. Or you can select the direct selection tool also and just select this right like this and just press delete and uh, you know it works faster. Of course not in all uh, occasions will work. For example here it won't work with the direct selection tool. You need the squeezer tool. Click on the anchor point and now it's cut into pieces. Uh, I'm gonna do the effect uh, actually let me check out what's the width of this one three so I'm gonna increase it to three in here select both go to the profile select the profile object blend make how many blend effect was here it was like eight so I'm gonna go with this also to eight 
specified steps, 8, click OK. And uh, this is even a more stylish kind of style rather than this one. This one is a little bit more boring, but also still beautiful. So we're going to time, time lapse this part and, uh, you know, see what happens at the end. <laughs> As you can see here, in this case, we can't apply the blend effect because uh, we have this uh, spike going on outside. So basically what I'm gonna do is delete this one and connect the two anchor points together here, this one with this one. All right, so in the bigger part, this is how you achieve this. Uh, I still need to work this out. I don't have the time right now. Uh, that's a different problem. And basically you just apply the outline right in these areas, which means, um, let me move this here. I'm gonna create a new copy. Shift X, you just press sh Shift X or you go here to swap from field to stroke and you just need to copy only these parts or the whole part basically. It really depends on the situation. This is a complicated approach, but as you can see here, it got perfect and it just goes nicely round and round. Of course, this is the not correct version because I just edited full one, but as you can see, everything flows together. And basically this is it. This is how you achieve this fancy kind of line effect with blend tool again. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. If you're new on the channel, hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates and check out the other videos as well. Thank you. Bye-bye.